Hello everybody, this is Legit Fuga here. Um, sorry this trilogy's taking so long. Yeah, I called it a trilogy, be trilogy because it's three videos covering one thing. Um, I don't know what else you would call that. These first three videos was supposed to be one long video because I recorded it all at once. And I didn't know that I had a 30 minute time limit. All three videos together before I stopped or started recording or editing was supposed to be 80 minutes long. However, you see that that's not the case. Um, I promise in the future my videos will be better edited, I hope, and better recorded. Which I'm using Share Factory on my PS4, which doesn't really give you a lot of options to edit with. However, I'm trying my best, so please don't leave my channel just because of that fact. Um, at the end of the video I'll say something about requests. I'm going to let you guys pick out of my seven games which will be the next playthrough, walkthrough, whatever you want to call it, I do. So look forward to that. Now without further ado I want to get started. So here we go. Yeah, the Annihilator is usually a one shot kill for most enemies. Besides, like the little tanks, the, like the mini tanks, that you'll see later on. And, you know, the big things. Party ain't over yet. Let's move. That's why I prefer using. I got boss moving that rail car. Shred him. Usually one shot kills, like I said. Oh, man. We'll make a sword out of you yet. Oh, scared me, I thought I died. Yeah, watch out for those. Actually, go down there now. I have no idea where all those are. So don't ask me where they're at, sorry. <laughs> If you like the quick scope, uh, it's probably be really good practice for you, even though I wouldn't recommend it unless you have aimbot, which is kind of cheating for quick scoping, but you know. That's the whole thing I was talking about. Oh, shoot.
What is shooting me? Is it the tank? I got it. Oh, there's another one. Two shots is with that. You want to hear something ironic? The reality was the terrorist attacks actually accelerated the development of the Winslow Accord Neural Network Initiative. If it wasn't for the fear of attacks like this one, we probably wouldn't even have the Cyber Soldier Program. Hang in there. 725. Got about five minutes. You've been here before, New Blood. Let's see if you can change history. All robots should be considered hostile. Trust me. Usually a really good shot with us, but it's not just working this time. When I'm playing online, I usually go eight wild with this thing. Uh, speaking of online guys, uh, I don't have it for this profile, my sister has it on hers and that's what I usually play on, if you don't play with me, uh, I'll put her gamer tag in the description, I'll put mine too, I should have PlayStation Plus sooner or later, I mean probably not this month but I'll try to get it as soon as possible. The neural network prototype is in the car right below. Maybe shielded by six inches of TNT, but that will be the bomb goes on. You better pick up the pace. Keep pushing up. You've almost located the explosive. Hey guys, I don't know how exactly I died right then, because I was shooting him dead on with this thing. Uh, he just got lucky, I guess, and killed me. Oh, there's a lot of them. Don't work. 
Oh, shoot. I told you guys I'd uh, die, why well, didn't I? <laughs> the whole thing's booby trap. If I hack it, try to move it, or detach the car, it's gonna blow. It's too much! Even with the computer in my head, there's not enough time! It's actually very simple. Wait. This is a magnet trap. If I reverse the polarity of adjust this car. Being prepped for surgery now. Okay. Hendrix wasn't even injured on the mission. He volunteered for this. The increasing prevalence of drones and combat robots has significantly reduced the reliance on human infantry. As I said before, we have no further comment to make at this time. We will continue to explore avenues of diplomatic negotiations. The WA have denied sending troops to the region, stating that they are still seeking a diplomatic solution to the standoff. We are coordinating closely with our allies in order to provide tactical support where needed. How long have we been doing this, Hendricks? Five years, give or take. Sounds about right. You ever think about where we're going next? Nope. You know me. I just go with the flow. Alright, guys. I think that might be it until we get to the safe house. I might get to show it to you guys right now. Yep. Alright. Here you have the data vault. Which basically just shows you your emblem, your clan tag, calling cards, has the music, videos, gallery, weapons, and codex. Alright, um, here's your collectibles. As you can see, I don't know where all of them is at, so I wouldn't quite call this video a walkthrough as much as a playthrough. Here's your wardrobe. You can change the head. Of course you have to unlock all these. If I knew how to delete my data, I would have showed you guys how to unlock them all, but... You know. Can't quite do that, can I? I'll just show you and show them all to you real fast. Currently I'm just wearing the Elite with no helmet. You can also change your gender to a female, which when you're a first time playing through you can just choose anyways. Uh, when you choose your gender, you got nine faces you can choose from. I can go ahead and go through them right fast if you want me to. I chose this one, so I'm going to stick with it for now. You can always change. This hey, is practice, Singapore. basically. Where are we again? Singapore. One of my favorite places, apart from all the ones I actually like. We've got an appointment with our new LNO inside the quarantine zone. Oh, yeah. This is a CIA this is their safe house. Glad you remember. 
Anyways, this is basically your practice. You can get score and everything. You kill the simulations and try to like get it as fast as you can. The faster you do it, the more points you get. You can customize your own loadouts there. You do that with. Uh, up here, you have your cyber cores, which is your abilities. Okay, um, sorry about that, guys. Uh, for some reason, my recording stopped and I didn't know. So I had to come back and start recording again to show you guys the rest of the house, which isn't much. It's just this and the armory. But this is where you pick your abilities. Um, there are several kinds. There's chaos, martial, and control. These, you take, well, I guess you could say you take control of, like, enemy specialized weapons and stuff. I don't really know. I don't use them as much. Martial, I'm, I never use these, to be honest. I'm, it's basically stuff like alright this on multiplayer if anybody's played multiplayer before you know what active camo is uh, you become nearly invisible it's just stuff like that uh, scramble weapons that the enemies are using use a smoke screen stuff like that control uh, I'll read about two just so you know what the, what they do basically um, we'll do mass paralysis and I'll pick another one this one uses, says temporarily disable three enemy robots and turrets and hack a robot's power cell causing it to overload and search deadly current. Enemy robots nearby will be disabled for a short time. Well that's the kind of stuff that control does. Chaos is what I use mostly. It's uh, more attack I guess. Uh, I use this one. It says short circuits the power control of a robot causing it to erupt in flames before exploding into a fireball. Um, if you use this on a human, it just attaches a sticky grenade on them. It comes in handy, I guess. Another one I like is this one. It releases, releases fireflies and just kills whoever the fireflies come in contact to. It's a pretty good, you know, tree, I guess. So that's the abilities. And over here you got your armory. Uh, basically what you do here is just make your classes. Uh, speaking of which, I need to go through here and look at what all I got new, which shouldn't be much. One second, guys. Uh, that should be good. Yeah, that's all. Uh, in here you have your primaries, submachines, assault rifles, shot, light machines, snipers. Secondaries, you got your pistols, which the annihilators in here. That's awesome, I love it. You guys should try it. Uh, you got your launchers, you got the war machine in here, which is another specialist weapon on multiplayer. Uh, I highly recommend, though, like I said, I think I said it in the first video to take a rocket launcher in one of your classes at least considering you'll have uh, enemies to walk on to throughout the game and I don't know if it does this ev to everybody else but a lot of times it will not let me pick up the rocket launchers just sitting around so that's why I say you might want to have one on one of your classes uh, I can't remember how I got my character to hold that gun honestly don't uh, I don't know. Oh, yeah. He's holding this it somehow. See? This is might be, it might just be whatever you last equipped. Well, I don't know. Uh, over here we got the mission record vault. It just basically, I guess, a summary. I don't know. I never checked this out before. So I can't really tell you. And then you got your deploy door. Go to your next mission, basically. Uh, that about sums it up, guys. Uh, so, what I was talking about at the beginning of the video, the video games, um, I want you guys to basically vote in the comments 
which of my games, my seven games, you want me to do a playthrough next? Because I really can't decide. The reason why I've done this game is because it doesn't take as much time as the other ones do. Considering you don't have side missions or anything like that. Uh, plus this would be a really easy one to do one on. That was the first video. Videos, I should say. Speaking of the videos, I'm sorry guys. I just didn't know that it was a 30 minute time limit. I should have just, you know, counted it all out and done it a certain way. But I recorded all three videos at once. So, yeah. Kind of messed up there. But I promise in the future it will be better. Um, just sitting here exploring a little bit while I just tell you guys a bunch of stuff. Uh, what else was I going to say? Da, 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 da. Hmm. I don't really play zombies, guys. I'm sorry. If you ever want to see me play zombies, I will. However, I'm not very good at it, so therefore, kind of out of luck there if you want to see somebody get far. You might have to try another channel. I'm not saying stop watching mine, of course. <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm not very good. Um, I will do free run, I guess, if you guys want me to. I can't really play online, though, because I don't have PlayStation Plus. But I plan on getting it sometime next month or the month after. Uh, like I said on the first video description, if you guys want to add me, just go to that description and send a first request to me. I'll add you back, obviously. But don't expect to play with me until I get PlayStation Plus. I'm not trying to be rude or nothing, it's just I don't have it. Um, sorry to change the subject again, but back when I said about the games, the requests, it's really hard to say if I can do requests of games that I don't have because I have to watch my sister's kids every day. So, I don't make much money as you guys think I would, so I can't really buy any games just for you guys, but if you tell me a game and a lot of people agree with it, I might buy it and try it out, and if I like it, I'll do a walkthrough on it, playthrough, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I'll probably get around $60 a week, if not, maybe less, so there's the general, you know thing there. Um, sorry I'm, trying, I'm making this video so long. Just by walking around and telling you guys stuff. You don't have to keep watching if you don't want. Because the only thing I have left to say is if you like my videos please hit that like button and subscribe. Uh, I'll appreciate it very much considering I'm a newbie when it comes to YouTube. Um, like I said earlier I don't really have good stuff to edit my videos with, just share factory and it's very limited. So I guess I'll see you guys next time. And I hope you have a nice day.